Hey everyone, it's Nahar Geva here, the CEO and founder of Zeek Analytics, and I've been waiting a long time to record this video message to you. Now I can finally announce that the Zeek Shopify plan is live. After building, optimizing, and testing four powerful tools, I can confidently say that in terms of data and in terms of user experience, we have created something that is above anything else that exists in the market. Opening a huge opportunity for our user base to enter into a new market, much bigger market, and also entering a larger e-commerce market, following our company mission to empower as many people as possible to achieve independence through e-commerce. With that said, we've also launched the Shopify plans with a massive promotion. We're going to give unlimited usage forever for the first 1,000 subscribers for a fixed subscription price. What does it mean? for the monthly or the yearly plan, you can use the tool as much as possible. While other companies put limit on their plans and asking you to pay more and more money the more you use the tool, with this promotion, you will be able to lock in fixed subscription price and use all the new Shopify tools as much as you want. Now, enough talking, let's jump into my screen and see how those tools can help you enter the powerful market of Shopify. All right, guys, so we are here looking at the Zeek Analytics website, zeekanalytics.com. And if you want to get more information about the pricing or the Shopify tools, you can scroll through the page and switch to the Shopify marketplace, learn more about the tools here, and even here, learn even more specifically about each tool under the analytics tools. And uh, we have the market insights, the sales tracker, the store founder, finder, and the product explorer. And I'm gonna log in now to Zeek and I'm gonna show you those tools in action. So let's log in. We are right now inside the Zeek Analytics app. This is the market insights for Shopify. If you want to switch to Shopify uh, and you're already logged in to the eBay plan, you click here on the change marketplace and you just pick the Shopify plan and then you can subscribe to the plan and you will get access to all the Shopify tools. Now, the same, by the way, you can switch back to eBay afterwards. Now, here on the Market Insights, I'm not going to dive too deep, but what we simply did is to give you quick access to data so you get training Shopify stores. Every 24 hours, we update this list with new drop shippers, single product store, which are one product stores, and print-on-demand stores. You can see trending products and you get also an access to an e-commerce calendar with a, a recommended products to sell on each holiday or season. Let's now jump to the first tool. I want to start with the store finder. The store finder is a database that uh, it's, a, it's a search engine that sits on a database of hundreds of thousands of Shopify stores. And you can use this powerful search engine to filter those stores based on different criteria. You can filter based on keywords. You can filter based on the country, the language, the currency. You can filter based on sales and revenue and they decide what the sales date range you want to see. You want to see sales and revenue from 60 days or from 30 days. And you can filter by active products. Here on the right side, you have very interesting filters that I personally like the most, which is the store type. You can target specifically drop shipping stores or single product stores, or print on demand stores. Drop shipping stores, you all know what they do. They drop ship, right? The one product stores are stores who focus on one product. Usually it's either a drop shipping or a specific brand. And print on demand is print on demand. This way you can be very targeted on your search. Let's say you want to start a drop shipping store or a one product store, and you want to say, you know what, Zeke, show me now all the best performing one product store from a given country, from Australia or from the United States or from the UK. At the same time, you can filter by revenue or sales to just make sure you get results which are powerful, right? So let's try this example. Let's go for drop shipping and give me stores with at least $50,000 revenue in the last 30 days. By the way, you can also filter by ads channels, find stores that use Facebook ads or TikTok ads and social channels. But let's see the results here. I click the search button and just a couple of seconds, very quick. And this, is, this was my commitment for the user experience. We've created something that is smooth, fast, convenient with an accurate and powerful data. So the results came so fast and you can see here the, on the left side, the store information, the snapshot of the homepage. So you can see a bit what is this store about. You can see here the store name, the URL, which is clickable, the country of the store, 
If you run a search which is not focused on specific uh, uh, business model, you will see here the icons, different icons. Here you see only dropshipping icons, right? Um, you will see the store creation date, the social channels, the ads channel, which is all clickable. I can click here and it will open the Facebook ads library or click here, it will open the Facebook page. The active products, the sold products in the last 30 days and the revenue in the last 30 days. And then if you will hit this detective icon, you will open this store on the sales tracker. The sales tracker is the competitor research spy where you can see what the stores are selling, the revenue, best selling items, recent sold items, etc. Now I wanna scroll through the result here and just show you one interesting case study on a drop shipping store that is very powerful, but it doesn't seem to be drop shipping store. And also explain you how do we validate this data because we have three layers of data validation. We have dry, dry data validation, which is basically an algorithm that says if you have this certain criteria, you're a dropshipper. Then we have an AI validation where you, we put lots of data points together and we create uh, some AI tests. And then after that, we have a human validation to make sure you guys get real dropshipping stores, real dropshipping products, real single pro uh, one product stores, real print on demand products without wasting your time showing you false result. We've made sure that on top of everything, we have humans that check this, do the manual test and make sure that those are actual dropshipping store, actual dropshipping products. So after all those validations, you will see that you will find your very interesting stores. And here I want to show you this store here, this fashion store. Okay. Chikud, they sell men products. Like let's hit here, hit here the, hit here the uh, detective icon and automatically the store will open on the sales tracker. Okay, it will basically automatically put the URL here, click the search button and boom, you get the results. You see the revenue, the sales, the products all in the last 30 days. You can switch here more than 30 days. Uh, if you have more than 30 days data, you can put costume date or you can just pick here the different date ranges, but you can set anything as you want. You want to see the last five days, two days, 10 days, 60 days. 90 days, etc. You can see the store apps, what apps this store is using. So you can see here they use the AliExpress dropshipping and more, the geolocation, etc. Social channel, ad channel, and the store creation date. Now, when you scroll down, you see here the best selling items, the upload date, price, sales, and revenue based on the date range that you set here. If you want to see the chart, you can click here and you can see the chart of the sale, the revenue, the sold items, and how many sales every day. Now, if you want to see the recently sold, you switch here to the recently sold and you will be able to see what sold recently. Okay, this product sold for 35, this, that, that, right? And if you want to see new products added, which is also an interesting to see what's the product that recently added, those. And you can see these are summer products, which is makes sense they're recently added, right? Nice. Now, let's open the store, look at this store and let me know what you think, because this store doesn't look so much like dropshipping. They picked very beautiful pictures. It looks very professional. They did a very interesting job. But if I will use here this Chrome extension, this is an AliTools Chrome extension to find a product, you will see that this shirt selling on AliExpress, and this is AliExpress, not even Chinese supplier or Chinese uh, agent, you know, for $14.34, while here it's selling for $85. Now, if you would come across this shop, you would probably never think this is a dropshipping store. But this is an example, a beautiful example for a powerful business model around fashion, a man fashion, with a guy, very smart guy who created these stores and come up with a very slick way to present the product so it looks like a real brand, right? And what he did, he basically just sourced products from China, from AliExpress, that's all. Same product here, same product here, $29, selling here for $89, $29.89, very powerful stores, right? Now, if you want to learn more about this store, you can, you know, go back here, you can open their social media, you can see what they put, put, on, their, put on their social media, you know, which kind of things. If you want to check if they're running ads, you can search the page, on the, the page name on the, on the ads library. In most cases, we will have the ads library here. If not, you can go and try manually to see if they have ads. And then you will see, wow, these guys are doing amazing, right? These guys are doing amazing job. So this is the powerful store finder tool. 
This is how powerful it is. You can do the same here with other business models. You can do different searches. You can search by country and you will find thousands of successful dropshipping or Shopify stores. Now, this takes me to the store sales tracker. The store sales tracker allowing you to put here any Shopify store you want. Even if you came across a store on other tool or on, on, on uh, Facebook ads or on Google and you want to see what their what is their performance, all you need to do is just, I will just take here an example, this URL, okay? It's just type the URL in, that's all. You type the URL in and you hit the search button. And then almost instantly you will get results. This store, for instance, $32,000 revenue, this is the products they are selling, okay? And then you can see if this is dropshipping store or not, etc. Now, this is the store, the, the sales tracker. The sales tracker have here three tabs. You have the search history, so you can see what the history of the products that you, uh, uh, oh, not sorry, not the products, the history of the stores that you searched. You have the in progress in case the store is not in our database. It's new for the Zig database. It will start tracking the sales from the moment you added it to the database. You will see it here. It will appear here. And your favorites when you save stores to your favorites. Okay. Now, this is the sales tracker. You saw the store finder, you saw the sales tracker. Let's take a look on the product explorer. The product explorer is also a search engine sitting on the same database, but now the, the product database. If we have hundreds of thousands of stores, we have millions of products. It's over 80 million Shopify products that we track their data, okay? Also here, you can search by keyword, you can search by product type, you can search by country, language, currency, date range, sales, revenue, and price. Okay, you can also filter by ads channels. In this case, I want to show you the one product store filter. Let's go for one product stores, uh, products, so products that selling on a one product store and a single product store that make at least $40,000 revenue for one product. Okay, at least $40,000 revenue for one product. I'll hit the search button and here I am, we got a lot of results. We can see here different products. We can see this bomb. We can see this interesting cervical traction device. If I will click here, it will automatically open the product page on Shopify. And you can see that this single store product focus only on this product, selling this product for $49.97. And it's a product for, for neck pain, usually things for back pain, neck pain, anything that lead by fear, lead by pain, selling very well. And this is why this product here sold $186,000 in the last 30 days. So you are automatically in seconds found the winning product. All you need to do is try to source it from your agent or produce it or find it on AliExpress or find it on any other supplier, right? That's all. Super simple. You want to analyze this store more? Click on the detective icon. Boom. The store open on the sales tracker. Showing you this, the, the, the information of the store. You want to look at the social channels? Click on the social channels, etc. Right? By the way, here you can see also if this store is a single product store and what is the ads channel. Now, let me scroll down and show you an interesting product I found, okay? Because this is a product that is very interesting and I really liked it. This product here sold $59,000 revenue in the last 30 days. It's a Swedish store, okay? 26 products in the last seven days, 1,556 in the last 30 days, in the last 30 days. Selling price is $38. And let me show you this product. This is a very interesting product. This product is selling here for 399 krona, which is, if we go back here, it's $38, right? You can see that this is these things that automatically turn on, turn off candles. If I take the name of this candle snuffer, this is the keyword of this product, and I go back to AliExpress, you will be amazed. And I search this product here. Let's take a look. I can find exact same product selling for $5. Four pack selling for $5. While here, it's selling four pack. Actually, here we can see it. It's a pack of four, right? With a nice box. For $30. $8. It's a single product store. So all you need to do is just create a store with one product. That's it. Pretty simple to set up. It's driving sales. It's profitable. And we just found it here selling for $5 while on the shop, they sell it for $38. So this is how powerful it can be. Uh, also the product explorer. All you need to do is go through it, you know, 
Use the different filters, whether you want to search by country and start sending in your own country or you want to look by ads channel and stuff like this. Let me also show you how powerful is the ads channel button. So I can click here on the ads channel. This is clickable and it will automatically open the ad library and will show me all the ads they run. Okay. All the ads they run and we can see, wow, these are the ads. They run a lot of ads, these guys. They run a lot of ads. It means they're very profitable, right? Otherwise, they would not run so many ads. This is how great story it is. And this is how great business idea you've just got through using the Zeek Shopify tools. So this is how everything works, how powerful it is. You can, you know, try it out, try different filters, try the product explorer, the store finder, the, the sales tracker. If you are completely out of ideas, you can go to the market insights. You can just hit here, you know, the detective scan and just scan different products. For instance, this one single product store, if I will hit here, the, the, the sales tracker button, the detective icon, you will see that this store with one product make $471,000 in revenue, and they sell a very interesting products to solve shoulder problems. So yeah, it's a lot of data, a lot of information. I hope you guys found it valuable and you know, take the time to try it out. We will keep optimizing, we'll keep adding new features and we will keep working hard to provide you guys with all the tools you need to achieve independence through e-commerce. Thank you very much guys, and I'll see you later. Ciao.